even know what time it is. Let's see, what time is it? It is 10.35, and um, I have already like cleaned up the kitchen, made up my bed, started some laundry, and then I have done nothing but work on this. This masterpiece is what I have been working on. I have yet to take all of the dishes out of here to pull them out so I can paint all that back there. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be another day because this is already a bit overwhelming. So I'm pretty close to being done. I'm just gonna go ahead and let this dry a little bit. I see some spots that need to be touched up. Um, but other than that, I pretty much got like the face of the china cabinet finished. I've taken off the doors in the bottom. That's something that we're gonna be working on hopefully this weekend, Saturday. Um, we're gonna be working on that and then we can get those put back up hopefully Sunday-ish um, once everything dries. I'm gonna actually go get my fan and actually plug my fan in and let it sit facing the china cabinet and letting some of this stuff dry. Um, but yeah, it's quite the... Uh, quite the project I decided to take on. Um, but it's coming along nonetheless. So, yeah, I'm happy about that. It's gonna look so nice once it's finished because I'm gonna scuff it up with um, sandpaper and give it that like rough look, edgy, um, shabby chic, edgy. I'm gonna sand the edges, that's what I meant. So it's gonna be like shabby chic, really, cute look and then like i said i've been looking for shutters um that i can hang here on both sides of my china cabinet because i have these hanging there now which those are not going to fit very well in the dining room now that i'm going like a farmhouse look um neither is that piece or that piece over where are we this piece over there but sadly i'm not going to paint that um I might paint that eventually, but I'm not like really concerned about it at this moment. Maybe in the springtime I'll worry about it. Um, right now I just want to get the china cabinet done so I can finish putting all of my Christmas decorations up because my china cabinet is um, part of a focal point in my dining room for Christmas. So, that did I show you guys that yesterday? That I hung that up. I cleaned it up really, really nicely and hung it and then hung a cotton wreath there for now. I think I'm gonna actually run out tomorrow and get a Christmas wreath to hang there um, just to kind of give it more of a Christmassy vibe inside the dining room. Um, oh, I forgot to show you guys this as well. Um, I hung this cute little thing up the other day. This is something I picked this like door up at Hobby Lobby. And then um, I had the wreath just kind of hanging around. Haha, <laughs> no pun intended. And then um, the skates I had as well. And now my door's, my phone is ringing. Hold on, no. Stop. I don't know why I keep getting freaking phone calls from Huntsville, Alabama, but I do. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I got that. I hung it up, put the skates up there, add a little Christmassy stuff, Christmassy vibe to the kitchen. And then, um, yeah, other than that, that is about it. And then as soon as, like I said, as soon as my china cabinet's finished, I will um, start decorating my china cabinet with all of my Christmas stuff. So that's just taking some time because I've had to get all my Christmas stuff out. And then now, <laughs> Brian and I, hold on just a second. Okay, so uh, Brian has business up in like Irwin, uh, Tennessee next week. And then we're supposed to go to my mom's house next week as well, um, which she is in Tennessee. Um, so I think we are gonna leave Tuesday morning really early so he can go do his like business thing that he has to do. And then um, we are going to go to Gatlinburg that night and stay in Gatlinburg. Sorry guys, I'm trying to plug this in. And stay in Gatlinburg that night. Hold on, good grief. Okay, so stay in Gatlinburg that night and walk around, have dinner with his cousin and um, just maybe enjoy the sights and sounds of Gatlinburg in the evening. You guys see I have a light strands burned out right there and burned out up there. Frustrating. So, anyhow, so we're going to have dinner with her and everything in Gatlinburg if everything works out well while we're there. 
So that's the plan. And then Wednesday, we'll leave from Gatlinburg and go to my parents' house for Thanksgiving. Another thing that I wanted to um, tell you guys is that I'm gonna start posting my Disney vlogs from when we were at Disney almost two weekends ago. I'm gonna start posting those on Wednesdays um, because ugh, it just um, makes it a lot easier for me. That way I can still do like a daily vlog but still also have my Disney vlogs up on Wednesday. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna answer this text and then I will, uh, yeah, check back in with you guys a little bit later. Bye. Well, I am officially pooped. <laughs> it is like 1.35 and I'm still working on my china cabinet. I have now removed the stuff that I had in there and I set it right here for now because this is all dry. Um, and then I went ahead and put like my first coat inside of there and as soon as that is completely dry and completely finished and completely done inside there, I will then put these up there and then move these down here and then work on that part of it. But other than that, everything else, and I don't, I don't know, should I paint the inside of that? I don't know yet. <laughs> I don't know. I may Okay, I don't know where that ended, so I'm having some serious difficulties with this camera and the SD cards. I'm not exactly sure what is going on. But anyway, where did I end? I think I ended, like, I was going to show you guys, like, the handles. Because I said that the handles, I have to fill in those holes because my new handles don't fit that. Um, they're too wide. They're wider than the, oh, here it is. Here's one. They're wider than the um, handles that it comes, that it came with. But this is what it looks like these are the new handles and um, they're just a little too wide for the holes down there and then um, this is what the knobs look like that are going to go on the doors so um, they all match now I am not going to get new hinges because the hinges are um, very very old and you can't find those kind of hinges with the three holes in them so I'm just going to have to um, live with what I have with those um, and I'm just going to have to spray paint those a little bit and get those cleaned up I don't know if I'm going to be able to like make them that same color or not but we shall see um, I'm going to take you guys outside now and show you guys I've painted the bottom doors. It's going to be bright, so give it a minute to adjust. So I've painted the bottom doors now of the china cabinet, and the sun was on them, so they were drying really, really nicely. Um, but anyways, I painted these doors, so these are pretty much good and done. Um, I have to just finish painting this one. Um, oh, look at the bug. Ooh, bug. Yuck, I don't like you, bug. Go away, bug. Ooh. So what kind of bug is he? Yikes. Um, but anyway, so I painted those, and I really just, oh, he flew away. And now I just got to really wait for those to completely, like, dry, and then I'll be able to attach those back, put the knobs on, and attach those all back as soon as I'm finished with my hinges. I think I got to just scrub the hinges a little bit. So I really don't think that the hinges, I don't think I'm going to spray paint those because they're pretty much like the same color as the, they're just going to need to be cleaned. So yeah, I can clean those. Yeah, those will work. Those will work. Um, so yeah. <laughs> so I'm just kind of like, getting all this stuff done and letting it dry. And then um, I had lunch, which I had some leftover chili from the other day. And uh, as soon as I get all this stuff done, I gotta get back to cleaning up my house for the holidays. <sighs> so busy. But anyway, um, I showed you guys that too. I, just, I didn't show you guys this either. So I've had this pantry sign um, and I've had it like up there and then I took it down because I want to hang it. I want to do something different with it. Like I want to hang it like right there so it like hangs out. Um, but I got to figure out if Brian can figure that out or not. And then um, I bought this pantry sign that I, it's like a big pantry sign. And so I want to hang it um like right above there so hopefully that this weekend i can get that hung up 
Ugh. So many things I have to get done and then I'm gonna be gone for, what, three days next week, three and a half? Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, yeah. Three and a half days. Ooh, so bummer. <laughs> I don't even know what to think sometimes because I'm so overwhelmed with all the stuff that I have to do and get done that um, ugh, it's just a nightmare. So um, anyway, so I'll check back with you guys a little bit later once I see if I can get those doors on. Oh, I can't get the doors on. I gotta get those things scrubbed. I keep thinking I can get those doors back on, but I can't because I have to scrub those um, hinges. So ugh, we shall see. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Bye. Alrighty, so I have finished the center section of it and now I'm to the top section of it. I took all that stuff out, set it right there, and then I put one coat on already and letting it dry. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put another coat on it as soon as it dries. You can still see where it's shiny, that's where it's wet. This stuff dries very, very quickly. It is a chalkboard paint. And I will show you guys what, <laughs> it's all covered in paint, but it's Valspar, sorry. It's Valspar, and that's what it, that's what it is. It's a chalky finish uh, paint, and it's about, it's the uh, interior. And it's about um, $30 a can, and you can see that's a very small can. Um, that is 29 fluid ounces. So it's a very small can of that stuff, and it's, like I said, it's about $30, and I bought it at Lowe's. And it comes with steps, so like that's step one, and then step two is like a, a a glossy finish and then the step three is an antiquing but I don't even use those <laughs> no I don't um, I just leave it at, like it is and then take sandpaper to it and um, excuse me sand it down that's what I do so as soon as this section dries then I will go and do another coat and then put my stuff back in there after that dries and then I think I'm gonna call it a night because I am exhausted. This has taken me all day. It is now 2.35 and um, this has taken me all day to do this, but it's definitely something that I've wanted to get done. I've needed to get done. Um, that fan is blowing in there. It feels so good because I'm hot too. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I mean, it looks so good. I'm very, very pleased with it. I'm happy with it. I'm happy the way that it turned out so far. Um, I'm gonna be more excited once I get all of the doors finished and the hinges done. So maybe I can talk Brian into doing those hinges for me tonight. That way I can get those doors on. Hmm, we shall see. This process will probably be continued till tomorrow or the weekend. <laughs> so yeah, hang tight. Uh, this has just been a day of painting the china cabinet. That is it, the day of painting the china cabinet. I cannot, uh, wow. I didn't realize how big of a task this was going to be and um, I'm whooped. I'm extremely exhausted because I still have to sand this. Now that it's gonna be all done or whatever, I still have to sand it. So, and that's gonna be plenty of fun. Yay. So I'm gonna sit down and finish letting that dry and then I will check back in with you guys a little bit later. Bye friends. Okay, <laughs> so that's all done. I just have to wait for it to dry again. I put like that second little coat on and you can see where it's shining. That's still where it's wet. And then um, I've just kind of been doing a few little touches here and there around spots that I see. And then that is it. And then I went outside again and I touched up the doors and I'm about ready to go outside and finish the other part of the door and then I'll be done with that in just a little bit. And I'm out of paint, so good timing, right? Holy crap, and it's 3.20. So I have been doing this all day and I just seen a spot. <laughs> I just seen a spot, like, oh. yeah, I needed to like touch this part up needed to touch this part up. I try to be as careful as I possibly can because I already put my glasses and stuff back in here. So I just wanted to touch this part up. I seen like a couple of boogers, paint boogers, and I just wanted to get that off of there. So, oh goodness. This is gonna look so nice once it is finished and the doors are on and everything. 
oh, I am so excited about it. Cannot wait until it's done, because I am exhausted. So, um, okay, so I'm gonna go outside real quick and finish up the other door, and then those should be done. <sighs> and then I have three other doors to do. Yay. Hi, I'm back again. <laughs> okay, so hey guys, it is 3.51. And look what I have done now. Um, all of this stuff is now off the top of my china cabinet and back in its spot. All I have to do now is the doors and sand everything, but I was so anxious to hang up my garland, so that's what I did. So I hung up my garland up there. It looks fabulous. It looks absolutely gorgeous along with the white on the white um, china cabinet. So I am super, super thrilled, and I'm happy, happy, happy that it is almost finished. Again, there is another look. I just have to put the doors on and then Brian has to help me with the holes. So I gotta patch those holes somehow and then drill new ones. So um, I finished the last door out there as well. So that last door is drying. Um, I'm out of paint completely, totally. No more paint, so I'll have to go get more. I have sandpaper ready for the time when I have to sand everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. I will see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe and give it a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed this like little, I don't know, boring day, but I was painting my china cabinet. So <laughs> anyway, sorry guys. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Everything we got